What is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to the Fora Brawl. We are playing some Vora Zoom today. Let's get right to it, boys. So, Brawl modifiers, we got four auras. That's it, boys. Nothing else you need to know. Get that phase react. Thank goodness. Oh, we got that water. We got time. There we go. We got more time. Oh, yeah, baby. 100% cooldown reduction. Let's go. It's stalker time. All right. I just realized with phase reactor and you don't have blink, the phase reactor is totally useless. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Problem with fire is just, uh, it's just nice, plain, and simple. You got four auras. We got that. There's a rainer here. Hopefully, that's not a phoenix. That, no, that is a phoenix. Oh, no. Oh, no. Disaster. He's got fire. Oh, jeez. Well, Phoenix is probably going to give me a little bit of a hard time. Probably. Whatever. It's fine. Once I fill my ground with my board with Stalkers, we shall uh, fill the air with Corsairs or something like that. Uh, and probably some Void Rays. And uh, then we'll we'll be laughing, right? Um, Yeah, I don't know, boys. Let's see. Let's put that another one here. Boom. Got some Kerrigan with the V-shaped Zergling here. Like, the 100% CD, it's not exactly 100%, but it's like probably close to like actual 50% reduction. In terms of like how quickly they have their thing back. Like look at that, that's fast. If it's 100% you could just blink forever. Boom. Look at that. Ooh, blink back. Oh, get out of dodge. Don't want to get hit by Kaldalus, boys. There we go. There's an Adept here. I don't know, Kaldalus does quite a bit of damage. He's trying to cleave through with the Kaldalus here. Oh wait, he just followed him! Whoa! I didn't know Kaldalus can follow that nicely. Anyways, he's dead now. <clears throat> Oh no, Banshees. They have used my technology against me. You dare, Potter. You dare use my spells against me. That's not how Snape sounds, but, you know, don't worry, guys. Um, anyways. Uh, Alright, we're gonna get that tier 2. We gotta get some detection in the form of an Oracle, which, um, I'm not, not a fan, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta perceive. You just gotta see. You just gotta be an oracle perceiving, boys. Um, let's get another one of these guys here. We're, we're gonna have to like. Oh no! What if I just blink forward? Then they can't see me, and then they'll be aggroed onto the other things, and then they can't see me, and then they can't see me. There we go, and then they go blink backwards, and they call Dallas confused, and then there's adept. Who is also going to be confused. There we go. Wait, is the laser beam hitting me? And I can't see it? Wait, what? Alright. Okay, oh wait, oh wait. Oh! We just gotta go invisible. Oh, actually, no way. They can see us. They have detection. Um, sh don't worry about it, boys. I'm gonna put that down here, put that down here, put that down here. Banshees have gotta be the most annoying thing for me to deal with right now. Because I'm just trying to be invisible stalker boy. Um... Let me go. I wish uh, the Magic the Gathering card, Invisible Stalker, um, could be your commander. Wait, actually, no, that's terrible. Uh, oh, it could be partnered. Because um, then I can build a really jank Simic um, Voltron deck. That made no sense to anyone who doesn't play Magic. Uh, but anyways, basically... Uh, it's uh, you take a one creature, and you stack a bunch of buffs on it, and it go vroom vroom beep beep into your opponent's face. It's very satisfying, except it's really bad, which also makes it even more satisfying when it works. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I think the best Voltron deck that I've made is a Sigarda Host of Herons deck, um, in the sense that if you don't die by the time Sigarda comes out, and you manage to put like two or three ores on her it's uh basically done um for at least if it's a 1v1 if it's like multiple people then like you're gonna get shrekt um but yeah so i don't know a little a little context for non-magic the gathering players uh Sigarda, host of hands is probably one of the most durable creatures out there like she's like really hard to kill um so she can't be targeted by enemy spells and she can't be she negates your opponent um your opponent's ability to sacrifice your creatures. So what I mean by that is, um, in Magic, sometimes uh, some creatures can't be killed, 
but they can't be sacrificed. Um, so some removal spells are like uh, target opponent sacrifices a creature, or or like each player sacrifices a creature, or or every player sacrifices all their creatures. Actually, I don't know if there is a card like that. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a card like that right now. Um, uh, or actually, no, there is, there is, but it's not like creatures. It's uh, everything. Um, that's a uh, all is dust. I think all is dust. Yeah. So, anyways, Sagarda makes it so you can't sacrifice anything. As in, I think I think anything your opponents control can't cause you to sacrifice stuff. I don't remember if you yourself can't sacrifice because like you make a choice to sacrifice a creature to activate an ability. I think something like that could happen. Uh, but yeah, so she can't be tired by enemy spells. Um, she can't be sacrificed. Uh, she's got 5 HP and most like uh, damage dealing AoEs deal like 4 damage on average, like the good ones. Uh, unless you're really hitting the board with like the chunky boy, like Blasphemous Act, which does 13 damage. Which, uh, for reference, kills basically almost everything, except for, like, your Elder Gods. Um, Eldritch Gods, really. I don't know. Elder Gods, uh, I don't think there are any Elder Gods in Magic. Like, yeah. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, though. It's been a while. Maybe they've released something new. Who knows? I guess vampires could also be, like, Elder Gods. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so yeah, it's basically just a really tough creature. It's hard to remove. It doesn't really die to many things, because, like, a 5... It's got 5 attack, 5 health. That's like a medium to like large sized stat line on average. On average. Um, and if you give her some buffs which make her stronger in terms of HP, um, it's almost impossible to take her down. Um, not that she's unkillable though. So yeah. I just like that Voltron deck because even though it's slow, it's pretty steady. And you also fly under the radar the first time people play against it. They're like, oh, you know what? This guy's just going to sit on his hands and do nothing. And then suddenly it's like, oh wait, hold on. This might not actually be a joke now. And then by that time that happens, it's like, ooh, oh no. Uh, I'm gonna put that black hole here on Taldarn. He's, he's been a little annoying here. Increases attack damage here. Man, my stalkers do three damage. <laughs> you know what? At least they stay alive for quite a long time. There we go. I should probably turn off my Oracle's ability to attack stuff because it's going in and like getting itself killed. Um, and, uh, that's not what I bought it for. I bought it for, uh, please give me vision of stuff. Anyways, um, enemies throwing out the GG because, uh, well, the stalker stack is pretty strong at, uh, providing a constant front line. I don't know what my allies actually have in terms of stuff. I, I just know Abathur's doing something and, and Kerrigan's doing something. And I've been talking about Magic the Gathering and, uh, somehow we're winning the game. Um, and you know what? All is well in the world. Uh, we got some Immortals coming out here, but I don't think that's... You know what? Actually, maybe... Never mind. That might be enough. That that might be enough. If Taldarin goes down, then it's like, whatever. But, like... I don't know. It, it's a little spicy here. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, Phoenix with that blast there. That kind of hurt. I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I think I might need to go tier, tier, tier 3. I might, I might need to... I mean, Fire Bats are going to are gonna kind of hurt. They got a lot of armor. My, my, my Stalkers don't got a lot of damage. Um, Whatever. We're not going tier 3. We're going to go get more Stalkers. Uh, maybe once I fill up to the halfway point, I'll go tier three, and then we'll we'll, we'll get another point in attack damage. I don't I don't see any, actually see any point in getting. Uh, maybe I could get shields. I don't know. Uh, ah, I don't need it right now. Right now it's just attack. No need to protect if you can attack. There we go. It's over. Boom! I love it, boys. Anyways, let's look at our stats. I, I wonder how much damage I took. I'm actually kind of curious here. Probably took the most. Yeah, I did take the most. Even though our team is a very tanky. I still dealt the most. I guess that's what happens when your stalkers have a... Not exactly 100%, but it's going to say 100% on the video. Because, you know, guys, you got to... You, you see people, neuron activation, big number, me click. All right? Okay? So, anyways. um, Yeah, boys. Uh, turns out, Warzone is very good with cooldown reduction. Wow! Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires. You need a light. They picked the wrong fights.